What's good YouTube, Giants fan 696 back here with a video today. And today's video is gonna be a breakdown of the Claymore badge in NBA 2K24. So it gives you a boost to a, to a shooter when they're spotting up patiently. So I remember when this badge first came out, Mike Wang tweeted that the max you could get is standing in the same spot for four seconds. And then when someone passes it to you, you have to shoot immediately to get the you know full effect of the badge. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wait four seconds wherever I'm spotted up at, pass it to my shooter. In this case, is gonna be Chris Middleton is who I made my rosters with. And then we're gonna shoot. So as usual, I got my four tiers. So whatever you know, the attribute thresholds are, in this case, bronze, you need a 63 pointer, silver, 70, gold, 82, and hall of fame, 92. So I have four rosters with Middleton at that badge level at each attribute threshold. And then one, as always, without the badge just below that bronze threshold at 59 three-pointer. So keep in mind, we're doing this test also on Hall of Fame and that the passer is not going to have any badges at all. So we are strictly testing Claymore. Middleton as well has all his badges removed besides, all his shooting badges removed besides that Claymore badge. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so as always, we're going to test first without having the badge. So this is no Claymore at that 59 three-point level. So we'll let Middleton spot up for his four seconds. So let me get him in a proper place. So from 27 to 23, then we will go ahead and shoot. And we're actually one for one right there. This is a low three-pointer. I'm using Middleton, obviously, because I like his shot, but 59 three-pointer is very low, especially with no shooting badges at all, keep in mind. So, but we're one for one. So let's, let's see. All right, I'm gonna go spot up in the other corner now for four seconds. There we go. Okay, there we shot one for two. Been our four seconds. Two for three, it's not bad. 59 three ball, I mean, can't really ask for much more than that, right? Let's go ahead and we'll take 10 shots as per usual in our tests. All right, so we're starting at 24. So at 20, we will go ahead and pass it over. And we're three for four. I don't know. <laughs> it's looking. I don't know, do, do we need Claymore at all? That's what I'm feeling right now, but still a long way from taking 10 shots, so. All right, so we're three for four. Let's make sure we wait four seconds. Four for five, and I know we don't have the badge, so you may be like, why are we waiting four seconds? Because when we have the badge, we want to compare apples to apples, right? So that's why, so when we actually have the badge, the test will be the same. So right now we're four for five though, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how crucial this badge is gonna end up being. But 32, so we'll wait till 28. Yeah, five for six. All right, so we're five for six. Let's go ahead and spot up in this corner and wait our four seconds. Okay, so we are five for seven. And then what I want to do for these last three shots is, I figure Claymore might primarily be for people shooting in the corner, but we should at least shoot like top of the key in each wing. So that will be our last three shots. So, whoops, let me make sure I wait four seconds when I get to my spot. So until 23. Okay, so now we're five for eight. Okay, so that's six for nine. Keep in mind, no badge, 59 three-pointer. I mean, I'll take six for nine all day. But let's see, will we finish strong? All right, so our last one will be at the top of the key up here. Wait our four seconds. And we finished seven for 10 with a 59 three-pointer. So 
We're gonna go ahead to bronze and see if it's a significant difference. But I mean, seven for 10 guys, that's, I mean, that's obviously really good. So, all right guys, so we just went seven for 10 at a 59 three-pointer with no Claymore. So now we are at that 63 point shot at bronze Claymore. So, so we'll do the same thing, shoot our seven shots in the corner and then three, two at the wing and one at the top of the key, just to make sure we cover all our bases at the three-point line. Again, focusing on the corner, because I know that's definitely probably the most popular place to shoot from three when you're a spot up. So let's start it up. Okay, that's one, one for one. Go ahead and spot up. Hit him. And there we go, two for two. Wait that four seconds. And as you can see guys, we go three for three there. Four for four. So we're off to a very good start. Let's see, could we go 10 for 10 though? That's seven for 10 with not having to bat at all, I mean, 10 for 10 it wouldn't really be too unrealistic in my opinion. All right, let's wait our four seconds. Okay, there we go. So now we're five for five. Halfway to that 10 for 10. Let's see if we could do it. Let's get our two more shots in the corner. Four seconds, so at 26. Six for six, okay, so now, all right. So let's see, will we make our last shot in that corner? Let's find out, four seconds. Seven for seven, okay. So now the test is making those slightly difficult, more, more difficult shots at each wing and the top of the key, just to make sure we cover all our bases, so let's have Middleton stand right here for four seconds. Okay, so that is now eight for eight. Nine for nine, and it, guys, it's feeling really easy to green. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe bronze is all you need, but let's just take this last shot just to be sure. All right. This will be the moment of truth for Middleton. Spot him up top of the key. Game on the line. Could he go that 10 for 10? Let's find out. And we do. And we just got our badge as we said that. So <laughs> heating up. So I'm gonna cut the test right there, guys. We just went 10 for 10 with the bronze Claymore, which is at a 63 pointer. So if you're a spot up, I mean, and you're just standing there all game. I, I'm pretty comfortable in saying right now he needs that 63 pointer. Even at 59 with no Claymore, we went seven for 10, which is still really good from the three point line. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Just go ahead and get bronze and put your attribute points elsewhere. Maybe get better defense, better whatever you want, better dunking, whatever you're looking for. Cause if you could do what I just did 10 for 10 with bronze Claymore at a 63 point rating, then you don't need to waste it all on three points. So it's my take on things. So appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Let me know down below which badge I should break down next. And I'm out.